scale. I like the art that imposes on your life. I have a smallish house and, and my art is almost like wallpaper. I love that. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Nothing precious. No. Nothing precious. <laughs>
couple things that I do want to bring. So we'll see how that goes when we start really getting down to, um, you know, brass tacks on the packing. But um, Ray's got two months and 30 days left of work. And that's actually not include, that's including, that's no, that's not including um, like weekends and holidays that he has coming to him. So it's, he actually has a lot less than that, but that's the time until his retirement date. So that's exciting. So he, that's coming up. So that's all really good. And um, we were so blessed to be able to stay where we're renting until we leave our, our landlords. They're just such, honestly, they're just the most gracious couple. We're, we've been so blessed to be able to, to end our time here in Moran, a place that we really love. Um, look at Mount Tam behind me there. I mean, come on. It's about 75 degrees out here. There's a, a slight breeze. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here, as you can see. So I wanted to tell you about that. And, um, oh, we set up, um, when you arrive at um, the airport in Bangkok, where we're flying into, you have the option of getting this VIP service where they meet you. Uh, you can either have them meet you with a golf cart uh, or they'll meet you, they'll just meet you there and walk you down through immigration. Um, so we paid for the golf cart because we got that last time when we flew in because we had um, Fiona and Bindi with us and it makes it so much easier because they just fly you through. So what they do is they meet you at the, um, uh, when you get off the plane right there on the plank or whatever they call it, the plank way. Uh, they'll meet you there when your plane lands. And um, we got the golf cart. So they're gonna take us in the golf cart They'll take us to immigration. We have our visa already. We did it online. Well, we're submitting it. We had to wait till Sunday actually, but everything's filled out. So we're sending those through. So we're gonna get our visa. Um, and then uh, we won't have to do all that paperwork. So we'll have that. And then they'll take us, uh, we got two porters to get our luggage for us. That was so inexpensive. I think it was $13 or something and then uh, they'll get our suitcases for us and then they'll take us over to pick Fiona up and that's mainly why we do this when we have fly with our pets we always get this option because you know they've been in that crate for so long and you know they have to go to the bathroom so we just that what that's what makes me most nervous is just getting them out of that crate getting them outside and letting them relieve themselves so we only have Fiona because Bindi passed away in January at the ripe old age of almost 16. So she lived a good long life. And, um, so Fiona, she'll want to go potty when we get there. And so then we'll do all that. Um, it's not expensive to do this service. And they also offer the option of getting a uh, taxi. They have a taxi service. And so we wanted to book that, but we're not sure because our condo at the Airbnb where we're staying is only about 20 minutes from the airport, but the price that they quoted us was $48 and we're fine with $48 because it's going to be, you know, a big enough van for Fiona and stuff. They, I think they said it was 600 bought more for Fiona, which that's fine too. But the only thing that we're apprehensive about in booking that is that they said for every 30 minutes that they have to wait, they're going to tack on 500, 500 bought. And it's out of our control if our flight's late. Like they're, I think they're going on the, I don't know how they're going on. I'm, I don't know if they're going on our arrival time when we actually land or how that's working or, or if they're going on what time we book it based on what time we plan on landing at this point, which is always of course subject to change when you fly. So we're not sure about that. So I actually joined a Facebook Bangkok expat group and I'm always apprehensive about joining groups like that because, you know, and it's not really joining the group. It's if you have a question because inevitably there's always gonna be somebody who tries to make, you know, a fool of you. And sure enough this time, somebody said something that was just so ridiculous, you know, to me about, my question about transport from the airport with a pet and eight suitcases, because we're gonna have eight suitcases, we might have nine. And so anyway, so I deleted the comment and I just, I we're gonna figure it out on our own. 
I'm just trying to find out. It's, you know, you, there's the Blue Angels. Can you hear them? They're practicing for this weekend. They were really loud yesterday. Sounds like jet fighters above me. But anyway, um, it's just that there's a lot of, you know, somebody said, why don't you just book, you know, a taxi when you get there or get a grab? It's not that easy. When you have eight suitcases and you have a dog in a big crate, we're gonna break the crate down. But I mean, it's, it's a lot and a lot of taxi drivers don't want to deal with a dog, you know, so. I don't know, we're still figuring that part out, which we'll we'll do. That's not gonna be that big of an issue. So that's that's that. And the really, really good news is that everything is clear and open in Thailand now. So you don't have to show proof of vaccination and you don't have to have a negative PCR test. Like you can just like go right into Thailand now with no problem. So we are so happy about that. So that's one less thing we have to do before we go. So anyway, I wanted to give you that update and let you know that we're still, you know, moving forward with everything, but yet everything is just going so beautifully with the sales of all of our possessions. And that's such a weight off of our back. Um, it's just, oh my God, I can't even tell you how happy I am about that. So um, yeah, we're, we're, on, we're, 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 on, we're on everything, we're on it. Um, so, other than that, um, I, I just wanted to say one more thing. Um, there was a, a, a terrible mass shooting yesterday in um, one of the provinces in Thailand, and I believe 36 people, mostly children, were, were killed. And it's very sad, and I just actually wanted to tell you, I, I didn't want to you know dwell on it, but I, I, my heart goes out to all the families of all the victims and I can't even imagine their grief and sorrow and such a horrific thing um, it's not something that happens all the time in Thailand uh, as you probably well know if you're familiar with Thailand I mean it's more common in the US for things like this to happen I mean not that many people I think I, I read that it, it's the worst in, now in history and so I'm you know I'm very sorry about that and my heart goes out to all all of the, the families of the victims and my prayers are, are with you and I'm just so sorry for your loss so anyway keep those people in your heart and in your prayers and for their healing and um, it's just sad so uh, anyway I hope you're all having a good day um, if there's any comments that you want to leave if you know of a, a transport service that will take a, a, a dog you know upon our arrival in Bangkok at the airport that can take us to our Airbnb our condo that would be great and um, I hope that you're all doing well and that everyone's feeling good and healthy and strong and thank you for subscribing and thank you uh, for being here so have a beautiful day and I'm going to continue on with my walk and if I can think of anything else I'll I'll fill you in okay so you guys take care be well bye bye so if you're all familiar with Robin Williams movie uh, Jack filmed many many years ago this is the house that the movie was filmed, where the movie was filmed. It's here in Ross. And I think it's just the most beautiful home. And since I'm passing by, I thought I would share it with you. so you can see a better shot of it. Oh, there's a lot of trees there now. That's it.
Wow. Okay. And what, what's your name? Elizabeth Gorick. Gorick, and, yeah. and she's in Ross. And Talented, Ross. beautiful yeah. painter I just stumbled upon as I was out doing my walk. And look at her art. Yeah, I, I love uh, scale. I like the art that imposes on your life. I have a smallish house, and, and my art is almost like wallpaper. I love that. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Nothing precious. No. Nothing precious. <laughs> no. Look at her. Look at her work. I, I love that vase with the with the roses in it. That is yes. amazing. Yes. Wow. I like to paint flowers and women that are more than just pretty. Yes. Because we've been just pretty for too long, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I stopped in. Oh, wow. So beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, it's so nice. Stop it anytime. Thank after I did my update on the Larkspur dock, but I met an incredible artist, as you saw earlier in the video that I just posted. And also I went to the Marin Arts and Garden Center. It's really beautiful there. They have a lot of weddings and I just thought you'd enjoy seeing that. So I'm almost home. I'm walking along the street and I'm heading home. I went for a seven mile power walk, which there was a lot of stops in between, but I'm almost done now. So I'll get that video up for you guys to see and hope you're having a beautiful day and take care and I'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.